Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem Nth Fibonacci number. So before we move forward to the problem, let me just give you a quick explanation of what is basically a Fibonacci series. So we can see the very first number is 0 and the next number is 1. So in a Fibonacci series, the very first two numbers are given and rest all the numbers are nothing but a sum of previous two. Okay. What do we mean by that? 0 plus 1 is equals to 1. 1 plus 1 is equals to 2. 1 plus 2 is equals to 3. 1, 2 plus 3 is equals to 5. 3 plus 5 is equals to 8. And this is how it goes on. Okay. So, if we talk about the indexing, this is the zeroth index, this is the first index, this is the second index, third, fourth, fifth, sixth index itself. Now let us see the very first sample test case. So we have n is equals to 2. That is why the output to that is just 1. We have n is equals to 5. So the output to that is just 5. Okay. So if we want to find the nth Fibonacci series, it is very evident from the explanation itself that we need to go the first we need to define the first two points and then we need to build up in this fashion that this value a of i is equal to a of i minus 1 added to a of i minus 2 itself previous two terms fair enough if you are already well equipped with prefix sum this would be a quick work for you okay just the same kind of concept okay so now there is a small thing that needs to be told. There is, th that is, it is told that the answer can be very large, return modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7. So basically we are given 1 and 0, 8 and 7. So it is 10 to the power 9 plus 7. Okay. It is basically a very big prime number that gives us the modulo. So now, here is only a addition operator and we need to apply modulo to this operation. How can we do that? Let us see that. So basically, modulo has something known as formulas which works for different different arithmetic operators. So if we have a plus b whole modulo m, then it is nothing but a modulo m added to b modulo m and then whole modulo m itself. So basically what we can do is, and if it is a minus b, then it is also same. Multiplication b, it is also same, but division is a little bit different. We need to find something you know, modular inverse. If you already know this concept of addition, subtraction, and multiplication, you should move forward and explore what is mod multiplicative modular inverse. If you're already well equipped with nth Fibonacci number, you should go move forward and uh, explore perfect sum. If you already know perfect sum, the homework for you would be that you explore something known as difference array. It is a very good concept and I like it very much. Okay, fair enough. Let's move forward. I think we are good to go. So what we would do is we would simply define an array and each, and each point of addition, we would apply modulo to that. Okay. Now let us see the implementation itself. So we would define const int n because we want to define const int m is equals to 1 e 9 plus 7. Okay, fair enough. Now we would define p array. Now we would define array, array of val, let's say val of n plus 5, I think so. Not n plus 5, I think n plus 1 is okay. Why? Because even if it asks 1 indexed array, 0 indexed array, the, val the array values won't change. So now we would define the first two values. Value of 0 is equals to 0 and value of 1 is equals to 1 itself. And then we would start from the very second index for int i is equals to 2. i is less than equal to the value n and i plus plus itself. So now we would say val of i is equals to val of i minus i minus 1 added to val comma i minus 2 itself. Fair enough. So now at this point, we need to apply modulo to this. 
so we would initialize a plus b whole modulo is nothing but a modulo m plus b modulo m plus whole modulo m so we would apply modulo m itself we would apply modulo m itself and we would also apply modulo m itself okay at the end we would return something known as val of n itself now after just compile it and see how many errors are we making okay seems like no error are being made let us submit this and see if we can get an ac or not yes we got an ac so the time complexity of the problem is nothing but we go off and why because at each point we are just doing arithmetic operations and arithmetic operation just the addition subtraction multiplication and division are constant so basically it is a constant operation at each step so take out to so to take out one value we are doing addition operator so for taking out one value we are doing constant operation so big o so num uh, number of elements we are taking out n multiplied by constant is equals to big of n into one constants are ignored in big of n time complexity that is why this is big of n that's it for today thank you and have a nice day